Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Lee Pitts Live. We're so thrilled to come to you from the beautiful McGregor Clinic right here in the heart of Fort Myers. And I got one of my favorite shows to do. Da da da. Y'all hear me every now and then talk about I can box. And those who followed my show for many years know that Larry Willis Sr., uh, one of the great boxing coaches, a uh, legend in our community, has been on my show over the years, starting back in the 90s. And he's continuing to develop young uh, champions in our community. So we're so thrilled to get Larry Willis Sr. here along with some of his boxers. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Welcome. Let me bump y'all in. Good to get y'all here, champs. And let's get going here. Let's start off with everybody's looking at the champs. We have um, uh, the, uh, we have the state junior Olympic champ from Powell, two state Olympic junior champions from Powell in different weight classes, and we also have the legendary uh, boxing coach uh, Larry Willis. We have uh, pronounce your name. Oh, uh, Larry Sanchez. And then Jonathan Peralta. All right, that's, that kept me from messing up your name, Larry. First of all. Congratulations, man. Thanks for sticking in there. Are you 40 years old yet? <laughs> <laughs> Almost. I'm, I'm getting close. <laughs> Larry, you have done such an outstanding job over the years working with young kids. And I know I've had you on my show many times. But now here you are over 40 years old and you're still at it and you're still looking good. Does you, do, does you working with these children also does that enhance you as a person, keeps you young and all of that? Yes, I mean, if it wasn't for the boxing, man, I don't know what kind of condition I would be in mentally and physically. Mm -hmm. uh, but boxing, I tell people all the time, coaching boxing keeps me young. It keeps mm -hmm. me going, keeps me active. I'm doing something that I love doing. This is a passion to work with these young men and see them succeed. Yeah, and, and, and I was, uh, the, the skill of boxing, you know, I love talking boxing off camera, but and I want you to expound on that. It is a life lesson that kids go on to become leaders. Just the whole discipline of being a boxer is, is such an extreme discipline from a lot of other sports we play. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, boxing, you know, with the kids coming to the gym, uh, one of the first things I do, I, you know, make sure that their academics is where it should be at and everything, and I always tell them, Everything that you learn here is going to carry you through life. Mm -hmm. the, the way that you train, the way that you eat, the way you treat people, you're going to learn it from boxing. And, and boxing is a, is, a, is a tool to make you a better person, make you a better, a better father, a better leader. And that's, what, you know, that's why I enjoy it because I get a chance to mentor these kids. Me, not only me, my son Quentin and Marcus, they, they've been doing the same thing. They've been following my footsteps mm -hmm. and doing the same thing. So it's just, uh, it kind of snowballed into the family. You know, we mm -hmm. just love working with these young men, the men and women. Mm -hmm. And then Larry Jr. looking at this time, I leave, make sure you call my name. Okay, Larry, we got you too. <laughs> Went on boxing the military. What yes. is uh, Team Willis Boxing and Family Fitness? Team Willis Boxing and Family Fitness, we actually, well, you know, when you met me, it was, I was with the Fort Myers Police Athletic League. I ran pal for 20 some odd years. Mm -hmm. And back in 2012, I think we started Team Willis Boxing, and we decided that we were gonna open this up to bring not only the, the, the guys that wanna compete, we bring the whole family and we bring the youngsters in, we bring the mm -hmm. mom and dads, you know, we started doing uh, adult classes mm -hmm. and just because everybody need to be concerned about their health, about their condition. We had a lot of people want to come in because they're obese and they want to lose weight. They want to know about nutrition and I can talk to them about nutrition. Mm -hmm. So we're able to hit all of those points with the boxing, the boxing being the center, being the core there. Mm -hmm. But it's just something that we love. Nothing doing. like that boxing fitness, my oh, friend. Oh man, my God. <laughs> but let, uh, uh, Blair, right? Bla Vladimir. Vladimir, you are a state champion, age 17. You got numerous championships. I mentioned that you were the Junior Olympic champion under the Police Athletic League. No, that's uh. not, he, no that was the, the pal was the, that was the tournament. Okay. So, but he's under Team Willis, so he's not under Police Athletic oh, League. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the, that's yeah, I don't want to give them no, credit. No, when I was that. saying that was their tournament, though, the, the Police the Athletic League yeah, Tampa, tournament. Tampa oh. Pal, yeah. Okay, but we don't, we don't want to get it confused. <laughs> Let's go with you on this. Uh, talk about some of your other awards as well. Whoa. Uh Championships that you won. I want to make sure people know that you, you won a lot, of, a lot of things. Well, I won the State Sugar Bird Championship, mm -hmm. and I won the Marco Island Tournament. And then I won like, what else? Uh, Keith, Keith, Kelly. Keith Kelly tournament. Keith Kelly's tournament. Okay, that's great. What's that you got hanging around your neck? Hold it up. 
Well, yeah, this is the JO's. The JO's? This house. Okay. The State, the State Junior Olympics. Yeah, State Junior Olympics. All right, congratulations on that. And let's go over here to um, Jonathan. Jonathan, uh, same type of champion in a different weight class for the State Junior Olympics under Team Willis, but that was the PAL tournament, believe that athletically. You're 14 years old, 145 pounds. I want you to go ahead and shout out some of your other achievements as well. Um, I won the State PAL in Palatka. That was my first state tournament. I won the, the um, Marco Island tournament. Mm -hmm. I got the belt, and then I won the Junior Olympics. And yeah. for the Let's make sure we show this off. I saw you walk in here with this. Oh, yeah. Talk to me. What am I looking at here? That's the Florida State Pal Championship in um, Palatka. What was it like when they put this jacket around you, when they gave you this jacket? How'd you feel? I felt good. Uh, I won both fights. It was two fights. Uh-huh. Now, in, in a higher weight class. In a higher, higher weight class. class. Okay. I had to gain weight, yeah. Okay. So, uh, when did you first start boxing? I started boxing one year and eight months ago. Really? And you already went in championships? What does that say about your coaches? That he's a great coach. He just coaches me and teaches me everything that I got to do, and I get it done. Uh, you get it done? A lot of discipline there, Larry? Man, listen, it's, he's one of the most dedicated young men, but they both are. Mm -hmm. They're both dedicated. They, I, I can't wait to see what the future holds for them. Mm -hmm. Let me get over to Battle Mill again. Now, how long have you been boxing? Since I was 15. 15, and you're 17 now, about yeah. two years. Uh, what, what was the thing that drove you to start boxing? Well, I just wanted to uh, just fight. Really? Okay. <laughs> just fight. How has boxing changed your life? Boxing, it changed me, like, become more confident. Okay. And then see things, see more self-awareness. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The, you still, you go to school and you, yeah. tell me about a typical day for a champion like yourself. Tell me your typical day. You, buy, you go to practice in the evening, you get up and run in the morning, just let people understand the stuff that you have to go to to be, achieve such levels. Well, I wake up, go to school, study, then go boxing, then at nighttime, run, run like five miles mm. or 10. <laughs> it, 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 it depends. <laughs> you can run 10 miles? Yeah. Okay. Do you do track and field distance at the nah, school I yet? Because they're going to want you for cross country. Like, no, nah, like, I should join, but uh -huh. I'm too busy to, boxing. I right. tried to talk him into doing right. cross country. Cause right. That's the first thing they said to me when I got to high school when I was a boxer. And it was like, these cats can't even run. This boxer can run all day. All right. yeah. How about you? Take me through your typical day. Um, sometimes I wake up at like 4. I can go to the gym. 4 a.m.? Yeah, I'll go Ooh. to the gym, train. Really? I'll do my training, like jump rope, basic stuff. And then I'll go to school at like seven. Whew. And then after school, I go home, eat, and then I go train with Larry. Okay, so when you go to that 4 a.m. training, is he going to Team Willis no. then? No, not at all. Okay. My own training. <laughs> all right, that's yeah. discipline, my friend. Yeah. All right, let's talk about some grades, too. Let's talk about the grades. I would think that that translates to some books. Talk about what, how your grades. I graduated eighth grade this year, A's and B's. A's and B's? All A's. All A's. That's what I'm talking. Larry, when they say all A's and A's and B's, how does that make you feel? Man, I, I, like a proud dad. Like a proud dad because, mm -hmm. I mean, you know how I'm, I'm a stickler on academics. Mm -hmm. And the kids know if they come in my gym if their academics aren't right. One of my boxers was a teacher at uh, Oak Hammock and at Dunbar. Mm -hmm. And he was supposed to fight one of the Camacho brothers. But anyway, he was my tutor. And him and Quentin... Quentin, get on you through grades, all right, right? Yeah, he so, always. So right. we checked the report cards. We checked, I checked the academic reports. Love they're it. They're not right. But, but I, I give them awards and do stuff with them for the academics. They, get, academics. they get bigger uh, uh, accomplishment awards for the academics. And if our academics aren't right, we if if we got to fix them, we come to the gym with our academics. Mm -hmm. And we study in the gym. And we study in the gym. Outstanding. I noticed we got a lot of hardware here on the table. You didn't bring all your hardware, but you got so much. I want to make sure it gets on TV. What are we looking at right here? That's the Mark, the Mark Lyman belt. Okay, whose belt is this? That one's mine. All right, congratulations. And that is a, that was an international tournament. That's uh, Ireland and uh, Germany and some other uh, international countries. What we got here? This is uh, Kay Kelly's fight. That's your belt? Yeah, it's my belt. No, congratulations. That was, yeah, that was my belt. When you guys first started boxing, I'm go back to you. When you first started boxing, did you ever think that one day you'll have all of this kind of stuff? Or are you just in there just trying to get well, your little squirrel on? I never thought that. Right. Uh, <laughs> I just this is the... You just wanted to lose weight? Yes. 
Go ahead. The Marco Island belt. Okay. Sugar Bear, Sugar, Sugar something. Sugar Bird. Yeah, that that's your first. Uh, that's your first belt, right? Yeah, that was my first belt. Okay, and Sugar Bird is a boxer out of uh, Atlanta, Georgia. He he did a lot with Evander Holyfield. He actually trained. Uh, Gerald Jordan at Marcus beat up in Tampa in an eight round fight, but he was a uh, he has a gym up in up in Georgia and he started this tournament about eight years ago mm -hmm. and it's a it's a national tournament tournament now. He's all over the country. All and right. It's one of the biggest tournaments out. And both of you are in Fort Myers area, Southwest Florida. Yes, sir. So you're the proud product of our area. We're proud of what you guys are doing out there representing us, keeping our rep out there. Everybody knows when you come out of that, that Willie's program. Willie's program is known throughout the state and national that, yes. that we produce some top not top flight. Talk about that. Well, we, uh, going, going back to when we were PAL, we were one of the top teams in the state of Florida. And in a 12-year run, a 12-year streak, we were the top team mm -hmm. 10 years mm -hmm. in that 12-year run. Four years, we were the top team in the Southeast United States. And like I said, you know, I had six kids that were ranked can I, I sound like I'm bragging on it. Go ahead. No, don't, <laughs> uh, let us know what's going on, man. Within, within uh, uh, one year, I had six kids ranked in the top three in the country at the same time. Mm. And uh, that was uh, Marcus, Derek Wilson, uh, Brian Perella, Tierra Brown, Tony uh, Diaz, uh, his brother Frankie, uh, not Tierra, Tierra's cousin, Takesha. But I had six kids ranked in the top three in the United States. And, and, and speaking of that, you you do train females, and the, the female who's the police officer Tiara. now, she went on to be uh, Olympic hopeful. Mm -hmm. She came out of the program as well. Right. She started with me about 14 with the payoff program, mm. and her cousin, Takesha, was ranked number two in the nation when mm. she started. So she Tierra followed Takesha over to the gym, and that's how she got started at mm -hmm. the Kara Robinson Center. Let's go back over here to you, Jonathan. Now, when you guys get in the ring, and you're doing all of that, and then afterwards you guys hug, you dap up each other, your friends. Talk about how people have to know that boxing is just a sport and it's not really like personal, like fighting, fighting, hate so somebody. I look at boxing as all about respect. Okay. You gotta respect your friends, your uh, people around you and stuff like that. And I just re all respect all my teammates. Mm -hmm. Good, good thing just, to know. I gotta have fun with it. Gotta have fun. Yeah. What, when kids are looking at you right now saying, hey, he's 14 years old, he's a champ. He lost weight. He got in shape. He's disciplined. I wonder if I can do that. What do you say to them? Anybody can do it. If you, if you really put your mind to it and you focus on it and you become disciplined for it, then you can do it. All right. What do you plan to be when you grow up? A world champion. A world champion. <laughs> all right. But you're making all those A's and B's too, so you could also, oh, actually, after you become a champion, you retire from that, what kind of job are you going to have? I'm a coach. I'm a coach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you boxing. How about yourself? Uh, somebody looking at you. Uh, you said, "Hey, you just wanted to fight. Now you're in there. You discipline yourself. You become a champ." And they saying, "I'd like to wonder if I can do it." Tell them, encourage them. Well, you gotta put the grind in. Mm -hmm. And sometimes boxing is not really for everyone. You know, you gotta have that dog in you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then if you have that dog in you, go. Go hit someone. <laughs> okay. Talk about your strength. Like when you when somebody when you think about yourself as a boxer, what's one of your strength? What what's your what's your is it quickness? Is it punching power? Yes. What what do you think? Willpower. Willpower? Yeah. Expand what I mean on by that. willpower is like like the will to not give up. Just keep going, just keep going. It's like stamina, like just keep going. Never stop. Never stop basically. Okay. Coach. Sum him up. Well, he said, and I'm listening to him, mm -hmm. I wish you could come to the gym and see him spar. Mm -hmm. I, I have to be careful who I put him in with. I, I was putting him in when he first, first started competing. I was putting him in with young men his age. I couldn't do that because he's breaking them down. Right. <laughs> You just, you just top physical condition. Okay, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's like a pit bull. Okay. And I have to try, you know, Vladimir says it's not all about trying to punish somebody. <laughs> I mean, every shot he throw was bad intentions. He's... He's a, I call him the Latino version of Mike Tyson. Okay, really? Because he wants to, he, he has that mentality. Like you said, he's got the dog in him. He has the mentality where 
and, and me and Quentin are trying to challenge, teach him how to box. You got to box first. Okay. But he wants to hurt you with everything you throw. <laughs> that's, that's the mentality. <laughs> you know, which is it's a good thing, but I'm trying to teach him the finesse side of boxing. Y'all remember y'all saw him on Leap It Live. He's going to be a <laughs> champ based on the way, I mean, uh, Olympia. Let's go to uh, Larry, sum him up as a boxer from the box coach's perspective. Discipline, uh, hungry, mm -hmm. determined. I've, I mean, I've, I've coached a lot of guys that's made it to the Olympic trials, that's been successful at the national level. His spirit with boxing, the way he, he loves it, before every fight, I'm watching him. Mm -hmm. He cries before every fight. He comes oh, really? over and he hugs me because he wants to win so bad. Really? And <laughs> he's just, but he's smart, super intelligent. In the ring, he does stuff. He's doing stuff that I haven't seen since. I mean, like Quentin, Marcus, uh, Derek Wilson, those were some of my top three fighters, Tierra. He will stand right there in front of you and, and, and challenge you to touch him and hit you with counter shots that I, that I can't even see coming. Jonathan, he talks about you and how you're a thinking boxer. Take us into the mind of you and how you approach your, you, you study each one of your fighters in advance, yes. your opponents. Yeah, I do. Go ahead, talk. I'll look for them on Instagram and okay. I'll watch them, I'll see what they do. I'll be like, all right, you do that in the fight, you're gonna have some problems. <laughs> <laughs> and I know, I just watch their every move, I focus. And I, when, I, when they throw their stuff, I see everything in slow motion. Oh, I see. So what, I what, what do you see as your strength? My strength? Uh, I'm smart, like I get in people's heads. So you patient? I'm yeah, I'm real patient. All right. Well man, this is something else to have you guys in here under the dun -na -na, dun -na -na. <laughs> These gloves that you have around your neck, you, before uh, people need to understand that when you're boxing, you have your hands wrapped up yes. under there, Larry. Mm -hmm. Talk about the, the the precaution on safety and all the things. Some do they they're boxing the helmets as well. Yes. And how people can be a part of your program if they're watching us now, whether it be for family fitness or if they want to get involved in boxing, is there a certain age limit, all of that stuff, and uh, can anybody do it? Yeah, anybody can do it. Uh, going back to uh, as far as the uh, protection with the hand wraps, before they even train, in, they come in, they get, wrap their hands, they have their own hand wraps and they wrap the hands before they punch the heavy bag because if you hurt your hands, it's like a carpenter. If you break your saw, you break your hammer, you can't do it, you can't work anymore. So you break your hands, you're out of business. Mm -hmm. uh, but now as far as, right now we are, uh, going back to the age, uh, you can start boxing at eight years of age. You can okay. register at eight years. Uh, and as of now, we're homeless, we don't have a gym. So <coughs> we are working out of, uh, uh, brutal born uh, weightlifting gym. We're trying to partner something, trying to work something out. We, we're with him Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, mm -hmm. Thursdays. We're out in Lehigh because we spar because Coach Mitchell has a ring in his backyard in his barn, so we spar there on Thursday nights. Saturday, we don't know where we're going to be at. But boxers make it work, though. Oh yeah, we, we uh, <laughs> he we, make it work. We were after the storm. We got this place, you know, with the storm. So mm -hmm. we were on the tennis court with the homeless mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. uh, two or three months. So we've That's been. That's when I won the. That's right. We were in the tennis court. Right. Yeah. Box is going to figure it out. No, they we, just we got to get it done. We get that grind. And we've accomplished more being homeless than we have. Mm -hmm. We have a roof over mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so. Adversity brings out all of that. Oh, yes. uh, when you have challenges, you just get stronger. The uh, What's the best way for people to reach you? Uh, my phone number is 239 357 3212. Again, 239 357 3212. Uh, email is Larry R. Willis4 at gmail.com or boxingcoach1 at iCloud.com. Right, and people will see that on the screen. They also uh, hear you on the radio. So this, this, this is also air on my radio show as well. Okay. okay. Well, Champs, it's been great meeting you. Larry, it's always good to see all the great always. work that you're doing, man. Shout out to everybody. Uh, and um, looking forward to getting you back in the future. When I say uh, Miami has the oranges, but Fort Myers got the, you guys say juice, okay? <laughs> All right. Remember, Miami has the oranges, but Fort Myers got the juice. He got the juice. We'll see you. Lee Pitts Live is a Lee Pitts Enterprise production. Hello, everybody. This is Lee. I'm so glad that you watched that particular show. And if you enjoyed that show, we got other shows like that. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch Lee Pitts Live on demand anytime. And also hit us up on all our social media platforms. Just type in Lee Pitts Live and there you go.